I met him way back uh, in the 77. I came to Sacramento with a job transfer to the company I was working for at the time. And uh, the salesman who I replaced, they're just phenomenal. So there's a guy you need to meet so he can get you involved with what's going on in Sacramento and, and the 2030 Club. So through that, from that point on, I almost been one of my best friends. We, uh, we were good friends in 2030 Club. And I think at one of the lobster feeds we used to have, when I had lobster, and that was a crab feed, I guess. We had, he approached me and said, hey, I, I, my wife and I are gonna split up and I need a place to live. And I was by myself, I had a, a house over there in Citrus Heights. So uh, I said, sure, why don't you move in with me? We've become pretty good friends. So he moved in, it was my roommate for almost five years. Uh, we had a lot of fun together. I won't tell you all the stories of things we did, but, <laughs> but we had a lot of fun. Uh, one of the things he uh, came up with was a sandwich party. A couple guys have mentioned this already. Uh, he came up with the idea of getting a five-foot loaf of bread, and everybody who would come to the party would bring meat, lettuce, or whatever, and put put, put the meat and, and, and all the uh, condiments on the sandwich. We'd have a sandwich that's six foot long, about that thick. <laughs> and of course, you had to cut it real thin to uh, eat. And it was a really good party. We had music, we'd dance. Uh, one time my neighbor came by the next door, from the next door he had a combo drums going on, we're all dancing in the backyard, having a good time, so a lot of the memories I have of Amo were those times, living together, he always had my back and I always had his back. Uh, he was an avid 49er fan like I was, and uh, after the Niners won their first Super Bowl game, uh, back about 30 years ago, 35, whatever, he said, I've got a chance to get more season tickets, so you're interested, and I said, definitely. So uh, I and two other guys got six tickets. And for many years, we used to go down to 49er games together even before Montana was playing, later Montana was playing, Steve Young. And uh, a lot of times we went down to Larry Cassie's bus. It's always a, a nice way to go, a lot of fun. So yeah, after about six years of having season tickets, Amo drew Super Bowl tickets. So we all used to go, we all went together, the four of us guys that had season tickets. So hooked up together, went down, see the Niners play Miami Dolphins at uh, Stanford Stadium. So it was a really memorable event. I mean, it was really cold, but we won a game. Montana had a great game as always, and we had a lot of fun together. Now, when I decided to buy a new home, I lived in Citrus Heights at the time for about 10 years. Uh, I decided to buy a home in Carmichael. And at the time, he had met Molly, and I think Molly said that they did not meet at the sandwich party. He met earlier than that, but whatever. <laughs> They, they decided to get together and move, he moved in with her, and I moved over to Carmichael. But we always stayed very close friends. Um, after 2030 Club, it was a job, uh, Amo and I were both involved in the 50-50 Club, we were members of that for quite a, quite a number of years.